Hi, we're going to uh, make a route. And reason we're going to make a route on Google Earth is because sometimes you go through an area that is shallow if you're a saltwater fisherman or you want to follow a ridge in the open sea. Uh, and it's easier to do that, especially if you've never been there. Uh, also, you can, uh, using the Google Earth, you can take this picture and save it and download it on your phone. You will have the photo and you can have the photo of the entire neighborhood or the waterway and uh, that way you know where you are. Now, uh, we assume that this is a ridge on the Google Earth. I just picked it out of the blue. And let's say we're going to follow this nose kind of shape. Uh, for fishing purpose. So what you do is you go up there, you click on route, and you make a route. This has four points on it. We're going to name it my route. Okay, and save it. By the way, if you're going to do a bunch of these, uh, make sure they end up on the same folder. Because then you can transfer the folder instead of an individual route. Let's say you're doing 20 routes. If you transfer the folder, it's easier than transferring 20 routes. So anyway, um, so for the purpose of demonstration, we're just going to do one. We're done with it. If you go to the left of the screen, we're going to go look for it. It's highlighted right here. It's called My Route. We're going to right click. We're going to Save Place As. It says my route. Uh, Google uses KMZ extension. And if you want to give the file to somebody else and you don't know what language, what computer they're using, I mean, what uh, GPS system they're using, give it to them in GPX. GPX is universal. KMZ is for uh, Google. We're going to save it. Now, I use this software called Inside Planner from Lawrence, I paid for it, $20. I'm going to transfer the information, transfer, import, file on disk. It's a KMZ file. It is located, it's called my path right here for my route. And you open it and now it's there. You will click on transfer and voila, there it is. Now, you took it from Google extension. You send it to the Lorenz. Now, from Lorenz, we're going to send it back to the file. And But this time, we're going to use the Lorenz extension. So we're going to go uh, right click. Anyway, if you do it by folder, transferring folder in and out, you're a lot faster. So, uh, one moment. Okay, so here we are. We're going to go uh, export folder route. We're going to export it. Okay, here it is. And it says file and dix. And USR is the Lorenz language extension. And it gives you version 2, 3, 4, 5. I usually do version uh, 5. And if you notice, it says Lorenz file, USR. So we're going to call it new or whatever, uh, new. Uh, and save it. And we're done. Now, you will transfer that to a disk. And you put your disk to your Lorenz and go to the file and import the file. And now you will have that route in your system. Reason you want to make that route is sometimes you go through shallow areas and Google Earth allows you to roll back. Uh, if you go over here, let me see how much time I got to uh, record. Okay. Um, Google, uh, Google Earth allows you to use the clock right here. And you, once you click the clock, usually you can roll it back several years and you can see the 
uh, you can maybe pick a day that was uh, clear water and low tide, and you can see all the details. And then if you are crazy like me, then you make routes all day, you can uh, basically do this. These are all the stuff that I have made. Uh, I think it's like, I don't know, 50, 60 routes and uh, 600 waypoints is what I got uh, in the area that I fish, Galveston area. So this is what it looked like. You can't even see the screen. And this will save you a lot of time if you use the, this system. And I'll do it in batch. Put all the information in folder and send it. And I'll pick the days that the water is low when I make a route. That way I can see the best route and see all the junk. Also, you can take the picture of the Google Earth and put it in your phone. And then uh, you can look at it. And that sums up our lesson. I hope this helps somebody. And y'all have a good day. And let's go catch some fish if you're a fisherman.